It's just a straightforward battery, nothing on it. There it is guys, finally got to organize my electrical and power storage in the Lancusa. That module is already nested under. I'll go through my setup and why I'm choosing this specific power supply. I haven't seen a shop, at least in Lower Main Lane, that does a job that looks like this. We are going induction. That's another cost saving right there. Also, a new shop in the making. Other than just doing my vehicle setup, I believe you all sort of have this question ever since I pulled in. Where am I? Oh, I just tripped on something. Oh, God. Happy Sunday, hope you're having a wonderful morning so far. I am back with these super long lashes, so if you have been hating them, great, please continue. But if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Monique. This is Elta. We've traveled around Australia and right now stuck in Canada. I believe we recently just had a record high COVID still happening, so we have managed to do some shorter trips here and there, but until further notice, we will be waiting for longer trips to happen. So in this Sunday weekly, I will be doing some updates on uh, my power system, specifically electrical, what I have been doing, what I have been planned, and coming up next, some of the reasoning. Before we start on anything, I just want to do an unboxing with you together. This will be my new lithium battery setup. I will explain the reasoning later on when uh, I run you guys through my whole setup ideas. Um, so these are EcoFlow River Pro. You might have heard of their flagship product called EcoFlow Delta. I will want something that it's still not too bulky, not too... Uh, big in stuff in the car, especially when I want to move it in and out, uh, considering the portability side of it. The key of this is, as you can see, there are two boxes. This is the main module. It's got a, uh, I don't know, sort of like Apple style packaging going on. You got your case with all the accessory. Um, in here we have Um, your standard wall charger plug, I believe. This is this is your 12 volt charging cable. Oh, this can connect to a solar panel. The solar cables. Some instructions. EcoFlow app. Oh, there is an app you can connect to the battery. I would assume. And gauge how much battery power you have left. That's neat. Ooh, buddy. There we go. So you got three USB. Outlet, one is the fast charging, one USB-C. We've got a light. One 12 volt and three AC plug. Press to turn AC power on and off. X boost must be turned on on the app. Oh, and here is your input. Um, this one, it carries 720 watt hours. Whereas this battery, the extra battery that comes with this in the whole kit, has another 720. So in total, they will have 1,440 watt hours. Did I do the math right? Yeah, which is quite significant. If you think of the heated blanket that I use for winter day camping, these guys takes 45 or 55 watt. So if you're running through a 10 hour sleep, or if you sleep a little bit more, then this can drain quite significantly. Some of the smaller capacity battery really just don't cut it and you won't last it for over a night. The output, I can't remember what the exact number is, I believe 600 watt output. Whereas X-Boost, which what you can activate on the app, it gives you 1800 watt. So, I think I have hair dryer in the summer when you go for a dip in the water, come out, you can dry, blow dry your hair out. You know, things like that. So that's the main battery. This is the auxiliary, I guess, extended battery, you can call it. Um, essentially, two uh, lithium battery blocks right here. Out here, some cables, and then instruction sheet, I believe. This cable is for connecting. It looks like a computer cable. It's so thick. There we go. It's just a straightforward battery, nothing on it. There's no output plug except 
Yeah, so you will connect the cable right here to that battery. I wonder if there is a way to charge this thing by itself because otherwise I would imagine at times if I want to leave this in charge while having that one outside to use and I still want to charge this one. That might be one of the things that maybe you can get an adapter for this to plug into your normal wall socket but uh, didn't come with the kit. What EcoFlow is sort of known for is their really fast charging. So for one module like this, on the book, I believe it says charges to 80% within one hour and then to fully charge it, it's around 1.6 hours. So uh, let's see if it comes with any battery. Actually. Oh, it beeps. It got 30% right now. Where do I plug this into? Ah, ah there we go. Yeah, got your wall connected. And the solar connector? What is this? Overload protection, I see. Oh, okay, we beeped. The spinning, I guess it means it is charging. The input is showing all the, um, the power from there. There is a recharging time. Two hours for both of these batteries. As you can see, the, the extendable battery also have an indication of how much it is left if it's too cold or if it's too hot. Almost 1500 watt hour capacity to charge them within two hours. That's pretty impressive. While these guys are charging, let me walk you through some of the updates on my vehicle and what's happening with this whole space because I believe you all sort of have a bunch of questions with those um, with the space I am in right now. So let's go. All right, first thing first, I want to show you my newest addition to the top of my roof. 100 watt Run Energy solar panel. Um, this is a somewhat semi-flexible monocrystalline panel. Running through the channel here with the Rhino Rack Pioneer platform. Um, on the side, drill two holes and run the wire through the front extrusion. So you don't have to expose all of your messy wiring and then have that come out from this end all the way connected to my base DC battery charger and then eventually feeding into my uh, secondary battery. Main battery is right there. So the BCDs come, come with a, uh, a solar regulator so that one can connect straight to this. That was my, I guess, first attempt in uh, creating more energy when I am stationed. If I am staying out, longer than two nights and um, the battery tend to draw quite a bit especially in winter when i am running that energy sucker heated blanket um, during the day we'll be chopping and i use an electric chainsaw so once that battery runs out we'll need to charge the battery on that is just a lot of things that use power so really if you camp in stationed in one spot for over two nights it gets a little scarce um, so that's why i do have a fold out a um, solar panel but you can only bring it out when it's sunny out or when you're awake whereas sometimes i don't get up until past noon night time so it's definitely nice to have a fixated panel on the vehicle outside at all time however that 100 watts take up quite a big slot on top of my roof and if during longer journey when I need to pack up things on the roof then that might get covered up so another great solution actually I am still in the planning process, planning process of this you see all the space here that's not being used and not being loaded at any point you're not going to load any cargo on here I hope you don't and there is a great company called Cascadia 4x4, actually a um, BC um, local company. They make solar panels specifically for different models of vehicle on their roof, depending on their roof shape. And there is one new um, 100 watt model that can fit on this vehicle. So potentially I could get another panel on here. So with those two combined, 200 watts, that should feed me for enough for survival. A little bit of luxury survival i guess and then now the question is how do i store those energy the problem with my secondary battery is is agm has uh, so roughly the cradle is really tiny so it doesn't fit a huge 
Um, battery is roughly around 70 watt hour, which is really not enough. A lot of people are going lithium. Lithium, it's still on the, uh, the price has been going down. But it's still quite an expensive item to purchase. In Australia though, this is where a lot of my inf uh, inspiration come from. They will have three batteries at least, and then there's usually one, that the proper overlanding build. They will usually have one that's lithium. But the problem is, with if you get a lithium battery hidden somewhere and you still need to have an inverter, have all those plugs set up somewhere nicely. In Australia though, there is one certification specifically for automotive electricians. So everything is certified and believe nicely professionally done. So far, I haven't, we are, North America is still catching up. I haven't seen a shop, at least in lower mainland, that does a job that looks like this. And this is really the neat level I would want. Everything tucked in nicely. All the plugs right in front of you, all the gauges. Um, this is also where Red Arc, um, Red Vision comes from, but that's, you know, money. And also electrical with all those wiring going on, all the heat creating. If you don't know what you are doing, you can catch on fire. So I would rather go with a more simple solution, which is a portable lithium battery where you can store in the vehicle or take it out into the camp as you wish. Hence why the EcoFlow portable battery, especially with the two battery option, I can always leave the extended battery itself inside a vehicle while taking the smaller one, less weight to carry onto the table outside or whatnot if I want to use it outside. Other than just doing my vehicle setup, I believe you all sort of have this question ever since I pulled in, where am I? Oh, I just tripped on something. Oh God. We are now actually in a in-process build or drive shop called Overland Garage. So. Thanks, Jade, for letting me use this space and for allowing me to follow this build of the process, literally, quite literally, how to build an overland garage. I believe you got the key two weeks ago and everything is still trying to set up. Drywall separating showroom and shop area just came up and the problem is the power, main power comes from. The main power now comes from the back of the shop where I left my April flow to charge. You can see in the corner there. They have run the wire to the hoist, but uh, nothing has been crossing the uh, drywall to the showroom side. So, sort of we have been thinking of if we had, you know, a power station connected to a laptops right there. Two laptops, especially when I run Adobe, really sort of power hungry software, it runs out of battery really quick. With those two batteries, it can support us for quite a long time. Even if it runs out, two hours, charge it full, we're back at work again. In those two hours, we can do some other things or even run on the battery on the laptop by itself. So yes, we have been covered with the roof in civilization in the city, but life-wise is still quite uh, like in the bush as far as electrical power goes. Full disclaimer, I am not a partner or part owner or an employee of Overland Garage. This is just a space that they generally allowed me to use and to work at. Um, I actually installed my um, solar panel right here. I guess the first install by a non-registered electrician. <laughs> I will not work on your vehicle, so don't worry about that. Just got to know Jay haven't had breakfast, so I'm going to quickly whip up some breakfast for him here. There is no electrical uh, sort of around this area yet, so still using my camp stove. By the way, if you haven't tried these noodles, swear to God, it's better than Migo Rain. Give it a try. And healthier, less oil. Um, some of you might know I've burnt my uh, Coleman grill, the griddle on top, melted a um, couple of months ago and I haven't uh, changed uh, to a newer either griddle or find a new stove. I have been sort of scouting the uh, industry and trying to find something similar, but now I am thinking if we're doing some remote travel, those things actually burn through your green bottles or propane pretty fast. And sometimes you don't um, have resource to, I guess, reasonably priced propane. And I picked up something. We are going induction. So these guys, I believe it uh, takes up to 1400 watts. So with the X Boost um, system on there, I could definitely power these. It costs less than a hundred bucks. If you were to find a good um, propane stove, I believe at least hundred and up. That's another cost saving right there. Might as well the cost saving on the propane bottles. 
you know. Renewable energy, this is the future. Just to show you his temporary solution, the closest Walt Life power outlet to the showroom is in the washroom, so he connected a super long cable all the way running across the messy floor to the desk, the temporary camping desk. So yeah, right now that will be the only solution, but once we get that EcoFlow charged going and we can have some sort of stored battery right there, it'll be way easier. It has been two hours. Now let's go back and check the battery. We are full. Wow. I will actually read you some of the data. You can obviously search this online. So this is the main module. 15.9 pounds have a capacity of 720 watt hour, which is the same as the uh, battery, the three AC output have 600 watt, surge at 1200 watt. Now you can see the module I have is connected. From here, capacity 100, remaining time, temperature, all of these you can look from your phone and instead of having to climb up to uh, the battery itself and you can turn on the light here um, and turn on or off the AC so when I turn on the DC as you can see the light here is on which means this plug now is activated the 12 volt and then the AC on the side is the same idea to um, turn on and off instead of clicking on it. So if you have all the things already plugged in and you don't want to walk through there and then to have it remotely start charging, that's how you can do it. Okay, let me show you how everything now fits into my setup as I originally planned out. They actually nest really nicely. The main module, I would just let it sit here. Uh, when I'm traveling, bungee drop it down uh, so it doesn't bounce around, moving around. And at night when I'm sleeping on this platform, I can just plug my heated blanket right there if I need it. Uh, maybe in the summer, I uh, will need a smaller fan. So we'll see how that goes. And as for the extended battery, as I said, I don't want to have too many big modules right on the surface or when I'm bringing things out. That module is already nested under my drawers. I'll show you guys right now. So here as my sight ring uh, opens, this is quite a perfect spot for what, where that battery sits in. The wire can come through this um, gap and connect to the main module. And my main module can just keep charging through the port here to that 12 volt, which comes from my secondary battery in the engine bay. Just a quick rundown of what this whole setup is. I'll have the lithium battery one hidden in there and then the main one with all the plugs on top of here connected to my 12 volt charging through my secondary battery which is connected to Redhawk BCDC controller which will cut off the power from the main battery if the secondary drain too much. So I can still start the vehicle from the cranking battery. Uh, energy source will come from the 100 watt solar panel on my roof and maybe in the future another 100 watt on my uh, bonnet hood as well as the alternator as I am driving. So actually, one more thing I forgot to mention. Um, the EcoFlow River Pro is currently not available outside of the United States yet, so I'm really lucky to be able to receive a set of them. Thank you, EcoFlow. In Canada, we do have the Delta, uh, which is their flagship bigger one, more powerful battery available. I will plug a link of both of these down below and um, I'll see if I can get some discounts for you guys. If I do end up getting some discounts, I'll also plug it into the description. So yeah, unfortunately in Canada, we don't have these guys yet, but I would hope in a very near future. Otherwise, their Delta is definitely worth checking out. I believe there are quite a lot of people doing reviews on those. The data looks really impressive. So yeah, till next time, ciao. What EcoFlow is sort of known for is the super fast 